Welcome to the Great American Tournament, Day 19. Today we've got Wisconsin versus Oklahoma and New Jersey versus Rhode Island. First up, Wisconsin versus Oklahoma. Oklahoma coming off of a big dub, and Wisconsin on a good on a hot streak of two wins. Let's see how it goes. It's land area. Wisconsin, Oklahoma are quite similar in size, but Oklahoma takes this one. Wisconsin's streak has been broken but still maintains a quite good tiebreaker number. Oklahoma increasing its tiebreaker number to above 10, the second state to achieve a double-digit tiebreaker number. New Jersey versus Rhode Island. New Jersey coming off of a big win. Or, well, not really. I, I'm, I don't remember if the win or the loss came first, but anyway, New Jersey with a big tiebreaker number. Rhode Island playing its first game. I cannot tell you how happy I am that this is not a tie. I cannot express my feelings right now. I've gotten this dang criterion like three or four times before, and every single time it's been six to six, and I had to skip it. It's been so infuriating, but at least it's finally not a tie because we've got um, states on the um, East Coast. So that's pretty cool. We have pretty regular um, tiebreaker numbers here 1.5, 0.67. We just multiply them in. See how it goes. Rhode Island taking a loss. Not good for momentum. The Western Conference. The wild card slots are still filled up. Nobody has had to been kicked out yet. Because we had two. No. Anyway. Eastern Conference. Not much changing. New Jersey reaching to double digit tiebreaker number. South Division, still volatile as ever. A 1-2 and two team making the playoffs. How funny. It's just because a bunch of teams have, haven't played. Or, state, freak. Sorry, I'm just I'm just sad that the Seahawks threw against the 49ers. It was a good season. It was a good season. Alright, thanks for watching.